Anthem of Dawn by Madison Julius Kaywin. I then up the Orient Heights to the zenith, that balanced the crescent up and far up and over the heaven grew arabescent, vibrant with rose and with ruby from the hands of the harvest dawn, smiting symphonic fire on the firmament's barbiton, and the east was a priest who adored with offerings of gold and of gems, and a wonderful carpet unrolled with the inaccessible hems of the glistening robes of her limbs, that, lily and amethyst, swept glorying on and on through temples of cloud and mist. To then out of the splendor and richness, that burned like a magic stone, the torrents of fusion that deepened and dazzled and broadened and shone, the calm and the pageant of color, triumphal procession of glare, the sun, like a king in armor, breathing splendor from feet to hair, stood forth with majesty girdled, as a hero who towers afar where the banner gates are bristling hells and the walls are roaring war, and brought on the back of the world, like a cherubim's fiery blade, the effulgent. Gaze of his aspect fell in glittering accolade. Three then building blue, like an ocean, rolled from the shores of morn to even, and the stars, like rafts, went down, and the moon, like a ghost ship, driven, a feather of foam, from port to port of the cloud-built isles that dotted, with pearl and cameo, bays of the day, her canvas wept and rotted, lay lost in the gulf of heaven, while over her mixed and melted the beautiful children of morn whose bodies are opal belted, the beautiful daughters of dawn, who, over and under, and after they, revered radiance, wrestled, and rainbowed heaven with laughter of halcyon sapphire O dawn, thou visible mirth, and hallelujah of heaven, Hosanna of earth.